Hi and welcome to the first in the series on uh, WordPress videos. We'll get straight into it right now and we're here at the login page for your WordPress account now. That's going to be at uh, the URL for that will be http um, and then yourdomain.com forward slash wp dash login. So we can just do that. You put in your username and your password and we can log straight in. Okay, and here we are. We've now logged into our WordPress account and we're at the dashboard. The dashboard is where we'll end up uh, at the start every time, so let's just have a quick look around it now. Now, this is a new blog I've just installed not long ago, so there's very little on here right now. So here we go. We have uh, the amount of posts and pages within the blog. As you can see, I've got zero categories and tags, comments, and then these are your... Uh, approved and penned in comments here in the colored so there's nothing over on this side we have quick press that's a way to do a really quick blog press and I'll show you that another time here we have what uh, theme we're using right now and the amount of widgets and we can change that from here and we can also update from here as well which I won't right now the version of WordPress this is is version 2.7 now, some of you may have earlier versions of WordPress, and in which case the admin panel would look a lot different. Uh, this is one of the latest versions, and it's been completely overhauled. Uh, here we've got some recent comments and recent drafts. Again, there's nothing in there. Incoming links. When you start to get incoming links to your site, they'll show up here. Uh, just over here, we've just got some news from WordPress. They'd like to... Uh, feed some info to you if you're interested there and some popular plugins as well now what I want to show you is all the little goodies on this side here because that is how you will design and manage your WordPress blog and that is where you make all the changes so we have all different sections here i will just quickly run through them now uh, we have one on posts now a post is uh, your blog article which, which you write and from here you can edit an existing one or add a new one. Uh, you can add tags and categories also. Here we have our media component and that's where you can upload uh, videos and images and other documents to your, to your uh, blog. <coughs> uh, here we have links where we can edit existing links or add new links. Pages. Here we can add pages to the blog, uh, very much like a static website would have. Comments, that's where you'll get in and edit your comments or reply to people if, if you like. Appearance, that's a big one. That's how your blog looks. Uh, it's a major component of, of the actual site. And I'm guessing you will spend a lot of time changing the appearance of your blog until you are happy. So here we have themes, widgets, and of course the editor. Now the editor is where you get into the... Um, the actual coding of the PHP files which uh, WordPress is made of and you can make changes uh, through the coding that way. It's very advanced so we'll leave that for another day. Plugins, this is where we can uh, have a look at plugins we have installed or we can uh, add new plugins to. Uh, we will be getting in there. Users, this is where you can update your info or you can add a new user to uh, to come on now they can come on as administrator or as a guest author or something like that down here we have tools and we have settings you'll spend a lot of time in settings uh, and right when you first set a blog up you'll spend quite a bit of time in there just doing some tweaks so you, you're making the blog all nice and it will save you a lot of time and frustration later on if you do it right at the start now today, all I want to do is to quickly show you themes and how you can change the appearance of your blog and how easy it is to do so. So to do that, we go down to Appearance and we hit Themes. Okay, now I'm in there now. Now I've only uploaded one theme, yet when you install WordPress on your servers or get it installed for you, there's going to be two there by default. It's going to be the WordPress Classic or the WordPress Default. 
No, the default's quite a good theme, I like it. Although it does lack some functionality, so you will want to uh, in install some new themes. Now, I've just installed one, and it's a theme that I particularly like. It's just nice and clean. Now, to change your theme, all you have to do is to go to one of these themes, click on it, the one you want, and what it's going to do, it's going to bring up a preview panel like this. And there you can see how your blog will look with that theme applied. Now, I've got some widgets I've already put in down the side, so that's why they're there. And yep, I, I like the look of that, so I'm going to activate that theme, and it's good blue chill out space. Okay, now that's activated there. New theme activated, visit site. Now what I want to do now is to have a look at how it looks within the browser. So I want you to go to here, I want you to right click, and hopefully you're using Firefox and not Internet Explorer. And I want you to go here to open link in new tab. So we'll do that. And here you can see it's opened up in a new tab. So we'll click on that. And how does that look? Great, I'm really happy with that. That's a nice clean theme. And it's exactly what I wanted, so great. Okay, so that's themes. Very easy to change. Uh, get, get as many as you like because you'll play around until you get the look that you're uh, really wanting. And then you can just uh, just change and activate it how you, how you see fit. Okay, that's about all for today. Next time, in the next video, we will have a look at um, setting your WordPress blog up from the start and just some little tips in there um, just to make life easier for you.